Hello, mate. What are you doing here? Penetrator here. Where's well, so block drain? That's right. Where's to see Ben? So Ben, I need a job for him. Oh, maybe a month or so ago at, at uh, an investment property of his. He got referred to me by another plumber, uh, Damo. I used to work with Damo well over 10 years ago when I was in construction. Um, so shout out Damo if you haven't watched this. Thanks, mate. And thanks, Ben, for giving me a call again. This time he's got a block drain, block storm water. So we're going to go out there and have a look and see what's going on and see. He said, yeah, he said something's blocked, something, he's done some work on something. So yeah, we'll go see what he's done and see if we can get this section all open for him and flowing. Make sure you hang around to the end of this video. We're off to on a bit of an adventure afterwards. Right up. I'll see you when I get there. So we out here at Ben's house. Like I say in a lot of my videos, I'm not the plumbing police, nor am I the police. We don't need to know why there's a skeleton here. We've got a block drain to sort out. So from here to the street, it's blocked. Uh, the culprit looks like the original one of these is broken and got made its way down that pipe. Look what we have here. So somehow this grate has gone down here by the looks of it. I'll have to get that out. So from here to the street, we need to get that cleared, get it out. Hello mate, what are you doing here? And what's going on here? Why does Mr. P have a boat? You'll have to hang around to the end to find out. Okay, let's fire up the jatter. Okay, we've got the little penny up there. We've gone up and it looks like we've dislodged it. So there it is. We've dislodged it from its original position. So let's just work this back and see if we can get it to pop out now. A bit so we, now we can pull it back and hopefully it comes out.
that's pretty close. I can see it right there. We're going to get that. changing nozzles, little single barrel, and we're going to try and hook in behind it and just hook it out now. It looks like it's a support on that bend. Why is the boat on the back? Ah, also, got a snake skin here. Well, a skeleton, it did get run over by the snake. Click that camera up there and have a final look. All that new pipe work there, that looks like what you put in, yeah, that yeah. junction and that. Yeah. So we'll pull it back and we'll check from there to the street. Yeah, right okay. Right. So it, it's all clear, mate. So. Come up to that. Now 
exit there. Oh, okay. I'll go put my hand down to the Yeah. Did you see my fingers? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So from here, all the way through now is, is clean as mate. Put a it does. I reckon they. You said there was balls and that in here. Yeah, yeah. And maybe they couldn't get them out, or didn't know how to get them out. Yeah. So they're like, let's just put a drain here. And like I said, people will do that as an overflow point to last up the overflow. Yeah, right. Because right. it's not really an area that the drain is necessary. Yeah. It's not where yeah, it is. Dude. Yeah. And I reckon that's what they've done. Is like, well, we'll just put this here. And, yeah. Because they couldn't get that clean for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah, because it was, it does overflow when there's a lot of rain and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ball, so. yeah. Well, if it does, that just means the pipe can't handle the volume of water there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's better for it to overflow there than up at, at yeah, the house. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's, it's clear, clear, mate. It's, it's not even, it doesn't even look really any damages or anything. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, mate, it's in good condition. So we're all packed up here. Ben's drain is nice and clear now. That's going to work perfect. We camera it up 30 odd meters to where he did some connections himself. So we know it's all clear. It's going to flow well. That must be the, the outing, the outside skin of one of the balls he pulled out. So there's been a lot of people in the comments asking for me to take take them crabbing, fishing, and on a little adventure. So we're down at Deep Water Bend boat ramp. Boat's all hooked up. Everything's unhooked. Um, we've got four crab pots, a couple of rods, and we're gonna flick some lures. We've got two different types of vibes here. We've got this one and that one. Don't ask me anything too technical about fishing because I probably won't know it. <laughs> what we got to do now everything's all set up ready to go i caught these last time i was out that massive catfish and this massive mullet the fowl hooked them both on lures so i kept them for crab pot bait i'm going to cut them with the ryobi <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll chop them up into some into a, into halves and put a few slices in them Okay, we'll put Nick here. Let some juice out. One through here. One here. Couple here. Okay, got them up here. And I've got a couple of little pillies in there too. These fish are the ugliest looking fish ever.
car. I hate catfish, they're so ugly. Okay, crab pot bait, crab pots there. Let's clean this up, chuck that away, and next time I see you, we'll be out on the water. It is actually a really lovely day. Look at that water. Look at these two fishermen throwing their dead prawn straight over where the boat ramp is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's mosey on out, see what we can find. Do we get it with no choke? We might need choke today. Sometimes when it's hot, it just starts one or two pulls, no choke. Mustn't be hot enough at the moment. 25 horsepower Merc, two stroke. That's uh, the weapon of choice to get us around in this 3.7 meter tenny. Let's get set up. In the comments you asked for a video. Let's go fishing and crabbing with Mr. P. We're going that way. We're going up the river. That way's to the mouth, uh, Red Cliff. Uh, all out that way. So this is the Pine River, we're at Deepwater Bend. So we're gonna hang a left up there. We're gonna go drop some pots first. I do wanna drop a pot straight across there. Uh, I'll, I'll go to where I normally drop my pots and, and hopefully we can jag a crab or two. Let's do it. I better take my hat off. I will lose it. <laughs> okay, now let's go, round two. <laughs> One now. I might be out a little bit too far. I might have snuck out a bit too far. Maybe should be a bit closer. Let's go and have a look. We may come back to that one. That's it. I'm contemplating do we pepper this whole area. We might do that. Yeah, we're going to put more pots in this area. I, I feel we might just pepper this bank a bit. I, I sit them pretty close sometimes. Some people spread them out. I, I honestly don't know what's right or wrong. I just um, think if there's a crab here within a couple of hours, it should be in a pot. So we'll come back and check it then. This one can go out here. We'll get this one set. 
That last one was catfish. This one's mullet. Sneak up here a little bit. Last pot, mullet, and some pillies. Then we'll go flick a lure. Don't go around that prop, Garvin. <laughs> Okay, we've got our four pots out. We're gonna head back to the bridge and where there's that boat, there's one right near the bridge. That's similar to one of my areas I like to fish. So we're not gonna intrude in his spot. We might just flick around to the other side. Little we'll spot lock around here to start with. I'm going to start off with this little vibe here. I'm going to get flicking and we'll see if we can land something. First cast, no fish. Let's go home. Only kidding. Ah. <laughs> I hit the bridge. I've actually lost the lure on that bridge. <laughs> ah, I hit the bridge again. Come on, two in a row. Let's not hit the bridge. Far out. That's three in a row. Ah. I'm trying to land it in that shadow under the bridge and let the current drift it back as I jig it a couple of times. There we go. That's it. So there is a plan with my madness. Wait till it hits the bottom. Okay, we've hooked something. Oh, I've lost it. No! No! Let's go again. Um, I was trying to get the, the GoPro on <laughs> for you. And um, it took a while, so let's go again. See if we can catch another one. Felt like a flathead. Let's try again. Damn it. I shouldn't have played around with it. I should have just got it in the boat. I always get these little knots or tangles. So we dropped that one fish. I think you caught the end of it where it had a bit of a run before it spat that lure. It really felt like just a small flatty. Next time, if I don't have the GoPro actually on, I'm just going to get the fish in the boat <laughs> so we can see it. Um, I'm going to sneak under this bridge now. I've peppered this area a fair bit. Who knows, there could be more fish there, but... You know, I'd rather just sneak under here and, and flick either side of this bridge for a bit now. 
Ming Koda just cruising along. What type of fish have been caught in this river? So, mate of mine, he's been fishing here for a little while. Not this spot, but further up. Um, he pretty much fishes every day. Uh, so he's caught quite a few fish. The fish I know that's been caught in this river. Uh, the best one I know of is a mangrove jack, which I caught, which was pretty good. That was on live bait. Um, then we've caught flathead, brim, trevally. He's he cleans up in the queen fish when they're on. Uh, and he caught a barracuda too yesterday. Uh, cod, that's another species. I think that's about it that we've actually caught. Oh, you got your catfish and, and shark, but we're not really chasing that. So let's let's see what we can pull out from underneath here. Hopefully something good is lurking beneath this bridge. I'm sticking with the bigger one. I've got my heavier reel, bigger lure this time. That's the one that had the flatty last, so let's have a go. We'll just work our way through. Bit of current through here. Feel it's pushing me around a bit. Bit of current. Nothing, 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 nothing. Go on, fishy. That's a good cast. The current should bring it that way, I reckon. Pass that pile on. Hmm, where are these fish? We've relocated, so on that corner is where the crab pots are. I'm just gonna flick this bank um, up towards the where the inlet of that other river is. We'll see how we go. We hooked onto something. Get away from that. Under. Get away from the motor. Come on, get the surface. Trevally, I think. Or brim. Trevally. Foul hooked him. Little trevally, not bad. Yo, we'll get the mat out for him. We'll see how big he is. Just over 30, 35 on the vibe, beauty, nice fish. I didn't, oh, I didn't feel I'll hook him. I thought I might. Oh, watch out for the spikes. Nice. Bigger one of those is good. Here you go, mate. Give everyone a kiss. Mwah. again I just got whacked right near the boat I think it's another little trev yeah there it is yeah trev oh. got him maybe slightly bigger that one whacked it <laughs> could even be the same one A bit smaller. A bit smaller that one. Come here, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. 
Look. Slippery little sucker. Give everyone a kiss. Mwah. Love you, YouTube. Let's go. See if we can get a few more. We've been fishing for two hours. We dropped one at the boat and then we landed two Trevally. Let's just run up, check these pots, see if we got a muddy. And we'll work out where we'll go after that. Did I not turn it off? I did turn it off. Okay. Pots are just up there. Let's go. We missed the first one. <laughs> well, I think the rope's that way. So we'll go nose in this way, grab it. Got him. Any weight, any weight. Let's go. It uh, doesn't feel promising. Does not feel promising. Oh, well, we got a couple in there. Uh, they look like females and undersized. And we got a brimbo. That's nearly legal, that brim. <laughs> Let's have a look. What do we got? Yeah, Jenny. 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 Brim. Oh, I don't eat the brim. Leave him alone. There's a brim. Mwah. Couple of journeys. So you see underneath, that's the female. If I get a male, I'll show you. Don't bite me. Come on. You're going home, mate. You're not going home, Dad. You're, you're going home to where you live. You're stuck. There you go. What we might do, scoot up there a little bit and find another spot before we um, get in all these ropes.
ground here, I reckon. Uh oh. You didn't want to be on this side. <laughs> uh, this is where the rod is. Okay. Any weight? Any weight? Oh, we just not. Nah. Oh, shallow ass. Ah. What do we got? Little, little something. Um, where to? Little, little Jenny. We got that one, we got that one to check. We got one there. Hmm. We might scoot up a little bit. Right. We'll race right. Let's go check that other one. Please be a big buck in here. Doesn't feel like there's much weight. There's a Sandy. <laughs> oh, we might have a keeper. That's a male. Is it a male? Oh, yeah. Woo. That's a good one. I think we've got two legals here. Need our little measurer. That's Oh, can't swear, that's a nice looking crab. Oh, the Sandy only has one claw. The last Sandy I got here only had the one claw too. Come on. Let go. Yeah, if she's legal. Or he's legal, I should say. They're both legal. Come on, mate. I should come. Oh. Oh. Okay, we'll stay in there then. We'll get this block out. This moddy. Look at that, that's well over. That's a ripper. Woohoo!
<laughs> Don't want to fly. Feels full too. I just want to check that part of the claw. Yeah, feels good. In it goes. We'll get some ice on him. Come on, mate. I don't want you to drop your claw. There we go. See, big. These are tasty, these little sandies. Um, shame it's only got one claw, eh? But we will have a feed. Hey. We'll get some ice on them, put them to sleep. Okay. I don't know if there'll be any more in that little spot, but. Okay, we're gonna head up river for a bit and try a few different locations. Hopefully that pot's still there. It's out a little bit far. I don't like putting it out that far in case it gets clipped. Okay, I just pulled over. I thought I'd try this snag over there. First cast. This is a decent fish. Let's get it to the surface, see what it is. Oh, big brim. Huh. That's a stonker. That is a stonker of a brim. Holy dooly. It just smashed that vibe. Let's measure it. I might keep that one. Whoa. That is a decent looking brim. Oh, he smashed it. It's in there good. Look at the tooth. Yeah, son. There we go. Nearly 38 centimeters that brim. That's a ripper. Yeah, that's a nice brim. Huh. What do we do? You got a good fillet off that. Uh, you might come home. You're coming home, mate. You are coming home. Okay, let's do that again. Um, we've moved. <laughs> Don't lose it. <laughs> Might be another true. We're on. We're on. I think it's a true. Yeah, another true. True alley. Sweet. Nice. Okay, let's see what this comes in at. I've just got the GoPro going, mate. <laughs> in my mouth. Third Trev for the day. Okay, let's see what this measures off at. Come out. Get that one out. Similar size to the other. Others, come on mate, settle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna eat you. 
Oh, a bit bigger this time. We're up to the 36, 37. We'll send that one back. Hopefully we can get a bigger model. Up around that 40 would be nice. Plus. <laughs> okay. I just caught this trevally. I didn't have time to get the GoPro. Because <laughs> it was just going nuts. I scooted on the mat though. Looks slightly bigger. It, it played bigger. <sighs> ah, ah, don't go under there, mate. Stay there. Yeah, bigger model, 40 centimeters. You beauty. Nice fish. Mwah. Give him all a kiss. Well, I'm sitting on the bar. This is about a meter deep through here. So we're kind of sitting on the, on the shelf, bringing it back. <laughs> this is a big mullet. Oh, right on the bank. Deserves a fish. Yeah, we're on. Yeah. I feel it, felt it come off that ledge. Another trev. Let it, yeah, it looks like a trev. Let's get this one in the boat. Let's not mess around. It's fighting like a trev. Oh! <laughs> Jumped! There it is. Come on. It's got another run. I foul hooked it, I think. You got it. No, clean hook. Nice! We caught the whole thing. <laughs> How good's that? Even done a little jump out of the water. Okay. Oh, we're this side at the moment. Nice work. We're getting into some of these trevally. They haven't been around like this. Thick. This one might be over. No. What? Don't know. Hey, hey. Saddle, saddle. Saddle. Oi, oh, don't go under there. They got some sharp spikes underneath them. And some good teeth. Okay, mate. You're gonna have to settle down. We need we need a picture. You need to be a YouTube celebrity fish. Hey, oh! You go back in the water, just chill out. Not bad. That one over 40. Whoop, not quite. It's pretty close, pretty much 40. Beautiful. Come on, mate. Beautiful. There we go. Let's get back into them.
So we've had quite a few casts around here and um, yeah, not even one strike. The guys camping up there, they said they got a few trevally here earlier on liveys. But yeah, I've got nothing. Um, we're gonna head back, probably check the pots. It's been a long day. having one last go under here uh, I did get hit pretty hard and then it took off to those pylons and, and then spat the lure maybe another trevally uh, that's a wrap I believe crab pots are back in we've got some we've got a feed for the family which is always good I'm gonna fire up this motor head back to the boat ramp and um, yeah if you if you like this content let me know I'll, I'll try and do some more if you don't like it let me know and then i just won't do any i'll just go fishing and don't bring a gopro <laughs> quite simple um other than that yeah big day sun's heading down block drain fishing <sighs> what more can we do right up see you on the next one